So, back-to-back wins in the League Cup, but in a group that might come down to goal difference to progress, just how imposit- positive was that tonight to get the three? Yeah, I'd like to have got more, you know, but no disrespect to them, they made it difficult for us, you know. Um, uh, you know, nil nil at half time, we might have been ahead, we might easily have been ahead three nil at half time, but we didn't take our chances, uh, we didn't create maybe clean enough chances. Second half we did, and we took three of them, that's pleasing. Um, I think that's about, you know, you imagine, you know, or maybe supporters imagine you're going to come here, you know, and, sc- and, and score some high score against teams like uh, East Stirling, you know, but they, they're organised, they worked ever so hard, they're enthusiastic, and at times they played. Um, so, you know, I think we've got to be satisfied. Three nothing. In terms of, it was almost a game of two halves, nil nil at the break, like you said. It was encouraging that the substitutes came on, made an impact, and what you said at half time obviously came in that result. Yeah, well, what I said at half time was more of the same. Um, and, but the, it, it's absolutely right, you know, the, 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 the subs come on and made a bit of an impact. I thought Lionel livened things up a wee bit. Um, um, did well, he has been doing well, uh, but I, I think generally it was a good performance, you know, solid at the back, uh, we played, you know, we're allowed to play a little bit more at the back than we will be uh, in the league, um, and we know that, we're not going to try and suddenly start being a team that play along the back four and out from the back, we'll do that at times, of course we, we will, but we showed we can, but more importantly, you know, we gave uh, Craig Clay's debut, um, I thought he did terrifically well. Um, I thought Marvin again was great. Scotty was getting a little bit frustrated at the time, but got his goal. Lionel came on. Cads, you know, did what he does. He worked very, very hard. And 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 Keith Lasley's the same as he always is, you know. Um, so I think generally um, we were pleased. Uh, Dom Thomas got a start, you know, and that's something we want to see more and more of. And you know, I think he did quite well at times. But we we saw something that we can, you know, we can talk to him, we can work with him, and we can develop, you know, Dom's performance from what we saw tonight. You were joined on the touchline and in the dressing room by your new assistant. What's it like having James McFadden in that role already, early doors? But yeah, well, I think you know you can see already why I chose him because he's already asserting himself. You know, he's up there on the touchline saying what he wants to say, not waiting for me to speak. Um, you know, he's got lots to say, and it's very, very positive and it's very, very um, knowledgeable. You know, so I, I think we've made a, a good appointment. Him and I are already very comfortable together, and I think the boys will respond to him. You mentioned Craig Clay getting his game tonight. Obviously, Lee Lucas got his trial last week. What are the options like for you? How are you looking ahead to the new season? Well, I think that um, we're still looking at those two. I think we're looking at the depth of the squad and what we can afford to bring in. Um, I think both of them have done well. And I think that uh, you know Craig coming in and playing the whole game tonight the way he did, um, I think he showed what he's all about. I think the, the crowd quite responded to him. I think that's always a positive thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I was encouraged by that. And I look ahead to Saturday against Noir. How are you feeling ahead of that? Will you keep things more or less the same? Or? Well, I think that uh, we don't really have a lot of choice. Um, you know, with Mo, he having had an operation and uh, um, Jacob Blythe, you know, being on the sideline still. Um, we, we don't have a lot of options up front. Um, we can swap it around a little bit between Marvin and Lionel and what we want to do in the wide areas. Um, back four, look after itself. Uh, I think that the middle of the park, you know, um, you know, Carl McHugh will be back available, and then we have Lars, Carl, and um, you know, Craig available at the weekend. So there's one or two options there, but really, it's more or less more of the same, same attitude, same type of performance, and take some of our chances, and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves nine points and see how, how it all sits at the end of it. Perfect. Thanks.